Passing the torch, it's an age old tradition, handing something down from generation to generation, from older to younger. In Bangor, an example of the very opposite, as New Center Maine's Hani Yashivi reports. Bangor City Councilor Ben Sprague first taking office at just 27 years of age. I thought, given some of our challenges and uh, what was going on in the world at the time, we needed some younger voices and new voices and new energy. Bangor voters elected him three times and now... A little sad in some ways that it's coming to an end, but... Uh, mostly just grateful to have had the opportunity to do it. An opportunity he managed to keep in the family. But he, uh, you know, kind of gradually kept mentioning, gee, uh, I'm going to turn out here and maybe this is something you ought to think about. And think about it, the elder Sprague did. Jonathan Sprague submitting this red folder with papers to get on the Bangor ballot and then campaigning in true COVID style. I went out to about 1,500 houses, though. So. Uh, you know, masked and uh, knocked on a lot of doors, uh, walk, walked a lot of streets. A path that led to victory for the 69-year-old, now a Bangor City Councilor. It, it made it a little easier for me to leave knowing that there would be a good replacement for me. What do you hope to accomplish in your time serving? I think in the short term, I think Bangor is going to be very challenged. Uh, so we're going to have some very hard budget decisions uh, about what, what our priorities are going to be, where we're going to find the revenue. Uh, and how we're going to move forward uh, during this period of time when the economy is under such stress. Hard work for the rookie counselor. Meanwhile, his son will take time away from his city leadership work, ignore social media for a while, and spend quality time with his wife and three kids. Something you'd expect the older one to do, not the youngest. But that's just how the story goes. In Bangor, Hannah Yashivi, New Centre, Maine.